All right, it looks like we have an apology, but is it a real apology or what? So Terry Crews, you know, it's been a lot of um, drama been going on with Terry and Gabrielle Union. When Terry was going through things, um, he wanted everybody to be there for him. He wanted people to see his point of view. Um, however, when Gabrielle was going through her situation, he pretty much was given an attitude where that ain't happened to me that don't got nothing to do with me. That's not how it happened to me, so that ain't my problem. But yet, you wanted people to have sympathy and be understanding where you coming from when you was going through what you was going through. You didn't want people to have the idea, well, Terry, that ain't happened to me, so I don't know what you're talking about. Well, Terry, that's your situation. That ain't get me situation. You know, that's your. That's how they treated you. They ain't treat all of us like that. That's how they, you didn't want that. You wanted everybody to understand and have, you know, where you was coming from. But, you know, clearly he's just a hypocrite. He's just not down with that. He's just selfish, a narcissist. He's just all about him, all about him narcissist ass. So anyway, it says, I told Kevin Hart for real a while ago, he needed to acknowledge the pain of other people, right? Now I have to do the same thing. I want to apologize for the comments I made. I realized there are a lot of black women hurt and let down by what I said and also by what I didn't say. Okay. So he's acknowledging and he's apologizing, um, for his, mistake so it says i hear you i respect you and understand you i am so sorry i am here to support you i spoke from my own personal point of view without the first talking and taking into consideration someone else experience i allowed disrespect comment directed at me and my family to go because me hold on <laughs> shit. i allowed disrespect comments directed at me and my family to cause me to react angrily instead of responding thoughtfully. This certainly caused more harm. It is my hope that I can amend any pain I have caused to those who were hurt by my words. Um, I want you to know it was never my intention to in invalidate your experience, but that is what I did. I apologize. You have been through a lot in this business and with what I empathize with the struggle towards fairness and equality in the workplace. Why can't, oh, uh, well, he is at Gabrielle. Okay, so Gabrielle, you are a role model to the entire black community and my desire to be professionally neutral as your coworker, I should have I should have at the very least understood you just needed my support, okay? All right, so that's what he said. He apologized, he acknowledged what he did. He put it out there and he directed it to Gabrielle Union. So comment, let us know. How do you guys feel about this? Is it acceptable? Do you forgive him? Do you move on? Do you not? How do you move? How are you going to go about your day after hearing this situation? Comment. Let us know what you guys think about this. Make sure you subscribe to Gossip Girl XOXO. Yeah, honey, what would I do if I was Gabrielle? Huh. huh. You know what? I forgive, but I never forget. I never forget, but I, I forgive because that's just, you know, me. But, um... I would just have to, I guess this is more awareness that, you know what? You in this fight alone, black woman. Yeah, you're in this fight alone. The only reason why he's speaking out now because they are pressuring him. But I don't feel like he came to this with his own conclusion. I feel like he had the managers down his throat. He had social media down his throat for days upon days. Um... Yeah, so I, I think the only reason why he's speaking like this is because of pressure. He's an actor. I mean, I don't trust actors. I don't trust entertainers that say anything to get the shit off their back. So I'm happy, and I appreciate him acknowledging and apologizing. And I, you know, I ended nicely. But um, I will have to move forward uh, realizing that I'm in this fight alone, and I cannot rely 
on this person and that person to have my back in the future. And I'm just going to have to make moves looking out for me. Okay. Because that's what it's boiling down to. Okay. So next time a Terry or another Terry want to get in this situation. Hmm. I'm just going to sit back and allow these other men to speak out on their behalf. And I'm just going to listen. Yeah, I'm going to listen. Uh -huh. Yeah, I've learned my lesson with this one. So I would say thank you, Terry. You have taught me a very, very valuable lesson. All right. Comment, let us know what you guys think about this. And I'll see you guys sooner than later. Bye.